three, two, one. Oh my God, that's cold. Wowie woo -wa. Welcome back to your Retro Radio Podcast, coldest podcast in all the Midwest, presented by Ice Mountain. We are live here in the Troy Escalade Jackson Podcast Memorial Podcast no. Studio in the Podcast Stew. And we are live and we are feeling good. Ryan, feeling good, buddy? Yep. You didn't introduce yourself. Did I not say t shirt guy? No, you didn't introduce yourself. I'm Miles, the adventure guy. You? Who are you? For those of you that are new, with t shirt guy. <laughs> Yeah, Ryan. we're feel, I mean, I'm feeling good today. Yeah. I mean, naturally. I would love if somebody was listening to this podcast for the first time and they don't know Miles. It means they came for us, right? Yeah. And or well, and me. or Glassman. They, yeah, probably they, Glassman. They, yeah, they came for you guys. I mean, if we do a good enough job on this podcast, they that is will. very true. Uh, well, any, I mean, yeah, I'm just wondering. It was just a question mm -hmm. I was asking. Yeah. Well, hey, anything can happen. Wonder, you you think maybe a couple of guys or gals? Yeah, or, or gals. Or gals came for you i mean on this podcast that would be tight okay i just or I loose we don't to discriminate that up we don't kink shame here i yeah <laughs> i didn't know if i was getting myself into a sticky situation or anything <laughs> if, so i just wanted to clear that up if this podcast is your feet no kink shaming here what something about yeah. uh How did we get to feet something about feet i i was kind of following an no, I'm not. We said we don't kink shame. So if this podcast is your version of a oh, foot kink, yeah, yeah, yeah. we okay. don't judge. Oh, gotcha. Okay, God. You gotta just say that next time. Tyler. Just say that the first <laughs> time. Jesus. Holy shit. <laughs> We're off to a great start. We are. Sunny and outside. So uh, I just got back from Nashville. Absolutely. My brain is like a baked potato in there just hot and squishy <laughs> yeah. you know it's all i need is a little bit of sour cream and it, you could have my brain for dinner right shredded now. cheese too maybe yeah, uh, wow. shredded Animal. cheese maybe yeah. throw in some chili some chives oh, that, that chives is where i was so to, again yeah. it is a miracle i am here even doing this podcast because my head is so baked potato right now <laughs> um but ryan you got to be feeling a little baked potato -y too. You, uh, I mean, dare what, I say it? You went on a party bus this weekend. Aren't I mean, you? What about, I, aren't you about to be thirty years old? The the clinic I put on Friday night was probably more impressive than your guys' entire trip to Nashville. Oh God! It, I mean, it took go. me six hours to overtake what you guys did in Nashville. Yeah, party bus last Friday, thirtieth birthday party bus. A uh, really good friend of mine. I'm not 30 yet, though, just FYI. Um, went out to dinner right away, then got on the bus at like 6.30, uh, 7 p.m. And, you know, a lot of us are 30 or damn near over 30. So it's like, okay, well, we'll not, probably get... You're not 30 yet. Almost 30, damn near over whatever. <laughs> um, I'm thinking, you know, this is maybe like an 11.30 midnight type of deal. Nope. It's a 1 a.m. This is a Ooh. 1 a.m. -er. Is there really that much difference yeah. between 12 a.m.? I mean, <laughs> like there's a difference between there 12, is. 12 a.m. and 2 a.m. There is because that extra hour, that extra hour matters when you have to leave the next morning by a certain time. Now, was it 1 a.m. or was it within the 1 a.m. hour? It was got home at 1 a.m. Oh, that is perfect. <laughs> okay, okay. That is got home at 1 a.m., started mouth breathing at 1.45 a.m. <laughs> what were you doing in that? Pissing. I, could, I couldn't stop pissing. 45 minutes. I, I couldn't get to sleep either. She, uh, you know, my wife hits me. She's like, you got to quit. You got to quit breathing out of your mouth. I'm like, I can't breathe, breathe out of my nose. What do you want me to do? <laughs> that, that's so, how you know. That Now you know how she now knows how Ann feels every night. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. We we took, took a, a forty five minute piss. No 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I was the, rolling around and pissing at the same time. Not at whoa, the same. What? what? <laughs> not at the same time. No wonder but she during that sleep. time. Um, no, I actually didn't piss the bed. I've did, never pissed the bed. Did you? Did you have a snack of any sort? Because that's my. No you snack. get home from anything like that, and you're raiding the cupboard. That's when the leftovers that you've been putting off for the last week. Get devoured. Cold pizza absolutely fucks in that scenario. I would 100% agree. Had uh, no cold pizza. Honestly. Didn't even have a snack. Uh, 
brushed my teeth and tried to fall asleep right you, away. Okay. But I, I couldn't. What? <laughs> no, Miles, I had to get up the next morning. I had to leave the house by 8.30 a.m. the next morning. That's not that bad. That's still seven hours. Tyler, I... <laughs> well, so hold on. Let's not glaze over the fact that you were drunk at 1 a.m. and you still brushed your teeth. I, oh, I, uh, I had, had to brush my I'm teeth. I'm a pretty religious toothbrusher. Yeah. Even if you're hammered? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Specifically if oh, I'm yeah. hammered because... I feel like I would just miss my mouth. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> if I'm hammered like that, I threw up that night. So I got to well, brush my yeah, teeth. yeah, that is true. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But... I just, I'm a creature of habit in, in a lot of a lot of senses, too. Goggins so I, would be proud of yeah, you. <laughs> had to brush my teeth. Yep. Yeah. Um, we took a very interesting route, though. We went... Uh, Went to Horace, and then we went all the way down to <laughs> Meg's hometown, Morton, and then went over to Wapiton, which is my hometown, uh, back up to Abercrombie on the way home, oh, and then yeah. back to Fargo. It was it was an odd route. Went straight from Abercrombie to Fitch? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, And here's what set me over the edge. Abercrombie, we started playing dice, and it was probably 1230 at this time. Started playing dice, had already mixed in a bunch of shots, um, was drinking. uh, The whiskeys were flowing early in the night, and then the beer was flowing after that. And Mm -hmm. then we were mixing shots in between. Liquor before beer, you're in the clear. I know. I had to play that through my head a couple times to see if I was in the clear. I wasn't at all. Was not in the clear with yeah, what I was drinking. You can say that phrase, you're in the clear. <laughs> yeah. Cannot, you are not in the clear. No, wasn't in the clear. Um, the dice was fun. I was I was in the final two um of six five. We were playing six five four low. Had I lost that match, I'd had to I'd had to buy drinks for probably 15 people, which probably would have cost me about 30 bucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really would have put a hole in your pocket. I know, yeah. God, especially that time of night. Well, okay. I think we've talked a little bit about getting home. What's the ideal time to get home from a night of drinking? Yeah. I think between 12 and 1 is a great time to it, get home. I would agree. At our age. Yeah. You asked me that question oh, no. eight years ago. It is as the sun's coming up. Yeah, 4 a.m. Yeah. is where's the after party, baby? Um, So I feel like that's an ideal time. I actually think that a 30th birthday party, I think... After the age of 25, I'll say. After the age of 25, you can only do a party bus on the zeros. I feel like it's totally acceptable to do a party bus 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100! Yeah. <laughs> Imagine a hundred year old party bus. They gotta all take the chair lift to get in. Yeah. yeah. I I I can get on board with the zeros. Now the thing is, um damn near everyone in that bus were they were parents, right? Yep. So 30, like almost Holy. 30 or over 30. Buried the parents. headline. 30 parents or 15 parents or whatever was there lined up a babysitter on the same night. No, no, no. We were like age wise. <laughs> How many people were on the bus? There's probably 20 people on the bus. And they're all parents. We're damn near all parents. So the fact in our, like in our like right before 30 or in our 30s, whatever. So the fact that 20 Do they individual have kids, people though? Yes, they have kids. Yeah. They're parents. Yes. So what I'm saying is that it's incredible that all they of them parents. got a babysitter on the same night and no one canceled. That's correct. That's correct. How'd you guys pull that off? We'd love to know your secret. Was it all night I, care? Yeah. I don't know. All I do is worry about my own child. He was taken care of. He was mm-hmm. sleeping good that night. And then everyone else, they're on survival of the fittest. They're on their own. You know what? I think that's a great life lesson for everyone. Watch your own fucking bobber. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Watch your own bald miniature version of you. Well, that little, shits. Uh, and little potato. Yeah. <laughs> Watch your own little potato. <laughs> Let everyone else do their own potato. Well, when I roll in at home at one o'clock at night, I'm not that far off from rolling around in my own shit and puke. Oh, yeah. I get, <laughs> yeah, I get that. And not only am I a little potato, my brain's a baked potato. Yep. So. <laughs> Ryan, you know what would help that mouth breathing of yours? Ugh, probably if I had something to wet my mouth down Maybe with. If you had something to open up that th- throat of yours, if you had some <laughs> ice mountain, you could absolutely chuck some of it down your throat and you probably would have been doing all right. I just needed something to open my throat up. Mm. Ooh, God, that's so wet. 
<laughs> Actually, no. We need you to open up your nose, not your mouth. <laughs> you can neti pot some ice mountain. Yeah, do you guys ever do that with ice mountain? Do you put it in your mouth and hold it in there on the roof of your mouth so then it absorbs into where your nostrils are to open them up? Every time. I could no, start. but that's not a bad idea, actually. I actually do that. Does, it works pretty good. It's so good. <laughs> Damn. Because, like, I'm pretty sure water get absorbed directly in through your mouth. Yeah, through your capillaries, I think is yeah. what they call them. Yeah. So, I think I recommend that to everyone. I'm going to do it right now. The homemade neti pot. ENT. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That was pretty good. Airwaves pretty clear now. Yeah. If Sound you, like it. I mean, this is basically miracle water. <laughs> is that the water Jesus walked on, you think? <laughs> <laughs> In Michigan. In Michigan. <laughs> the Red, same, the same, Red Sea of Michigan. Same lake, different religion. You know? <laughs> Same aquifer. Yeah. No, oh. same liquid, different. different same lake. walking, different aquifer <laughs> is where it came from. But really close. Yeah. In reality, it could be, though. Yeah, because... and he may have purified it on his way to his way yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> his way out. <laughs> Let's add that to the story. Cataclysmic event. Then Jesus walks on it and purifies it. So that's why it doesn't even need to see a facility. It's so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, though. That's yeah. not an official statement from Ice Mountain. That's just my own discovery. Well, that's why you need to recycle your bottles, too, because they just take those bottles again, dunk them underneath the... the uh, mm -hmm. That's how they the fill water. them, too. They just have humans <laughs> just dunking them <laughs> and then screwing them on. Yeah, the, the, yeah, assembly line. It works great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very efficient. And it's pure. It's so pure. So, guys, if you would also like to walk on water... <laughs> Pick up some ice mountain. <laughs> the thing about this party bus though is like we're at a we're at an age where like no one's getting up on the pole in the middle. I, I was gonna ask. I like so it's very different from the party buses we used to go on. Got, it's like actually a ride. Crowd then, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah what, do you, what do you do on a party bus as a 30 year old? We can, well, you kind of just like you kind of just sit around like in a big U shape and just start bullshitting with the people next to you. Maybe you'll get up over <laughs> over to that cooler and get a get a beer. Maybe your next beer from comes from the other cooler so that you can kind of mingle with with different people on the bus. Um, but it's you're mainly just like sitting and chatting. So right, so like there's no one up dancing, nobody's shotgunning beers until beers. later in the night. Okay. Until later in the night, it just takes it takes a little bit to get loose. But it's not like you know we're fucking gung ho right away. Yeah. The warm up period is a lot longer at this There edge. we go. Yeah. He found it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, so yeah. Is there was there anyone on the group? I feel like a party bus, there's always one. And I don't want to stereotype the sisterhood of the traveling pants, but it's usually a girl <laughs> that when she gets tuned up, she is up and down that pole. <laughs> And falling over and they're dancing, great time. But you're like, there's a lot going on in this small space. Yep. I, was there anyone like we, that? That part was not fulfilled completely. Like it, it, you know, you had a couple gals almost getting to that point. But I mean, you know, had it been a two, three a.m. or it's a little we different. Would have had somebody, yeah, yeah. At, like we would have had some woo girls on there for sure. Yeah, the warm up period took too long, yep. and you weren't out late enough, so you never saw Correct. it. Correct. Um, it was more so like like the guys were kind of like a little bit out of control. Like, <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. This is okay. I want to tell you what actually happened on this party bus. <laughs> Ryan got shit faced right away and he started taking his clothes off no, on the stripper no, pole. No, no, and no, he no, was no. squirrely <laughs> Ryan the whole time. No, no, no. Yeah. No, I, no, it was. I was squirrely. Yeah. I'll tell you what. How because many? here's the thing on the party bus, you have to talk as loud as you possibly can. Otherwise, no one can hear you. Right. How many times did you walk into the bus, get to the top of the stairs and do your little hip thrust thing? There were no, there was no hip thrusting. Yeah, right. There wasn't, you guys. There was no <laughs> hip thrusting going on. I bet if we pulled everyone else in the bus, they'd have a completely different story of how the night went down than you did. There might have been a couple, but there was not, it was not an overbearing amount. <laughs> <laughs> he dabbled is what happened. I dabbled. Yeah. 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 Warm-up period. It you took a while. You can't have squirrely Ryan without getting some hip thrusts in there. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. Um, the one guy, though, in particular, 
Um, birthday boy? He or was, no? no, 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 not not birthday boy. I don't really know this guy. He was he was absolutely out of control. Um, at one point, <laughs> he would not let it go that he wanted to request. Now this is a party bus. Let me remind you of that. Mm-hmm. Something in the orange by Zach Bryan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, what a, what a great song to rage not to. Right? The vibe. Um, are He's we, going through it. Can dude. we all just like take a moment and shed a tear for this song right now? It's such <laughs> a beautiful moment. Mm-hmm. No. Let's play fucking Usher. Party rock. Yeah. <laughs> and let's start hip thrusting. It's not Zach Bryan party bus. <laughs> I wanted to turn this party into a seventh grade dance. <laughs> That's everyone, the shit we were playing. grinding everywhere. I <laughs> mean, we're, we're playing uh, we're I'm in love with the stripper T-Pain. Yeah, by Usher. Um, temperature by Sean Paul. Another banger. Do the Cupid shuffle on the bus. We didn't do any any line <laughs> dances. No, we, we those were axed right away. Gotcha. So it did bring me back, though. I feel like that guy, the one that is requesting in the orange or whatever the name is, is the same guy that sits at the front and chats with the bus driver for way too long. He was sitting God. in the front when he requested that. I yeah. shit you not. Yeah. I We're shit you not. Bus driver. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been driving bus like this for? It's a glorified Uber. Yeah. <laughs> It's the craziest group you've ever yeah. had out here. <laughs> what do you do if someone throws up back in the bathroom asking for a friend? Have you ever been pulled over in this thing? Uh, there was a point, too, where I don't know if a deer ran out in front of him, but he slammed on the brakes. <laughs> Thank right God in you're the middle old. of the highway. Yeah, good yeah. thing your legs were completely wrapped <laughs> around a pole so you didn't go anywhere. No, actually, they thought it was part of Ryan's act. He slammed he the brakes around. and he spun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he slammed on the brakes and then gunned it so I would keep going. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Ryan actually, he, he was, the pole was behind him. So he's about to go forward and he just cleansed his cheeks yep. around the pole <laughs> and kept him from flying forward. And then he after, just clenched on and held on for dear life. And then after his dismount, bus driver hit some rumble strips. Everyone thought Ryan was twerking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that feels good. <laughs> I, I know a bit you were doing, but I don't think it was very clear. <laughs> Talladega Nights. Yep. 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 <laughs> that was Talladega Nights? No, yep. it wasn't. But I The oh. best part that. about coming <laughs> to these races <laughs> is the vibrations <laughs> of the cars. The shoe fits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big time, yeah. <laughs> the shoe fits. Um, let the audience be the judge. Yeah. Hey. If we keep talking about riding on this pole, we're going to get our goal that we set at the beginning of the pod. What was it? People came here for us. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's our, I think that's that's said and done. Yep. That already happened. <laughs> Especially at, at, our, at the hip thrust talk. Yeah, on our next project. Yeah. Any fights on the party bus? No, but yeah. the the guy who was who he was he was requesting uh, Zach Bryan, he was getting lippy, and I wasn't liking it that much because <laughs> he was getting lippy towards me. Did too. you start shadow boxing the stripper pole? <laughs> no. No, and that he was mainly getting lippy when we were playing dice, and it was getting super annoying. Like, and like so I started, belt. I started chirping back at him, and nothing came fr- came from it after that. But had it, I mean, front kick, front kick I'm to ready. The chest, yeah, hundred yeah, percent, mm-hmm. I'm ready. <laughs> I would, I kind of wish you'd have got a fight. When I was, I was playing it through my head multiple times. Well, hold on, it wouldn't have been a fight; it'd have been a chest bumping match. <laughs> And would have been broken up by a bunch of screaming girls being like, just stop. No, it would have been two hits. Ryan's fist on his chin and him hitting the floor. Thank you. God. Something like that. No, it just went. Just went. <laughs> That's so loud. And then, and then like maybe one like push of the chin like that. Yeah. And then it would no, have been diffused. If there's a push of the chin, it's game it's on. on after it's that. On, yep. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. Yep. Did you did you ever get to the point where you told your buddy to hold you back? <laughs> <laughs> no, the pole held him back. Yeah, the pole held me back. No, you gotta do one of these. You go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hold myself back. Hold myself back. Uh, I did not need anyone to hold myself back. There's something about the game of dice, though. This is the second time people have been getting lippy during dice and. It's pissed me off a little bit. Like First what, time, what relax. is there to be lippy about? Like I don't know. It's not a game of skill. I don't know. That's and maybe I was just annoyed at that at that point of the night. Hmm. I'm like, I already knew I was gonna feel like shit the next day. You so were I, nervous that you were about to have to drop thirty bucks on a round for yeah. everyone. Yep. <laughs> I might have had to get my envelope. You know, well, my you monthly bill. Doing the math, dude. The amount you had to pitch in for the party bus. 
the round for everyone, the babysitter. Yeah. I mean, that adds up. Yeah. My mom and dad don't, they don't babysit for free. We have to pay it. <laughs> They're hourly. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> That'd be smart. Yeah. That's a good little extra side, side, side gig. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think on the party bus age wise? I know I'm kind of coming back to it, but no, I, was, I, I think you're perfectly right. Because if I got invited, I have been invited on a, a party bus recently to for this weekend. I got invited. My sister had took the weekend off. She's trying to get a party bus put together to celebrate Father's Day. And I was like, I'm just not going to do me. that. Why don't you guys just go somewhere instead of... Oh, no. And then they wanted to do one on Easter, too, which I thought was kind of funny. They were going to call the Easter yeah, party bus. Yeah, but your sister's in the party bus phase of her life That's right now. That's the thing. Yeah. She thinks that yep. everything would be a fun party bus. But yep. This is the sister you're not thinking of. The the normal, quiet one all of a sudden is into party buses. Mm. She wanted to do one on Easter and call it Jesus's Last Ride, which I did think was funny, but <laughs> I passed on. I, I mean, hold on. She's branding the party. Bus. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then this one is the the Father's Day fun bus or some shit. Uh, it's not and it's like I'm not doing <laughs> it. I was like, I don't like my dad that much. <laughs> I want a party bus for him. Like, not sound. It's gonna be just me, my dad, and my grandpa on the party bus. I mean, he, yeah, that'd be what great. What about your sisters? I don't know. No, she's and just setting the bus up. It's also, up. though, Did going on party bus with only your family makes a stripper pole weird. <laughs> Very. Yeah. You know. Yep. Yeah. It's like when your like <laughs> in laws come to the bachelor party and you start talking about you know things you shouldn't. It's like, yep. oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I suppose uh, anyone need another round? Let you guys finish this convo, and then like out of the corner of your eye, you see him. Yeah. Can I no, tell I'm no, yeah, no, no. We should not go to the strip club. But, That's, <laughs> I would never. But you no, always got your, you always got the one buddy at the bachelor party that purposely says shit like that in front of the brother-in-law, oh, yeah. yeah, or the father-in-law, whoever's there. Yeah. Like, hey, you gonna try for kids right away? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Well, I couldn't ask you that. <laughs> See, that's yeah. All the awkwardness is broken for me. <laughs> But no, you're spot on with the ages, the tens, the ten. I would, if someone wanted to throw me a party bus on my 30th, I wouldn't be mad about it. But if yeah, they want to do it for my 29th, get the fuck out of here. I don't think I would either. I mean, actually, I pretty much did. We had a party bus for my wedding and my 30th birthday was like a week later. Yeah. So I'm counting that. Yeah. I had a fucking party bus for my 30th birthday. Yeah. And that was an appropriately rated amount of time. Yeah. So I think party buses. If you're 25 or under, weddings, any birthday that's a zero at the end, <laughs> and once in a while, I think it could Ooh. be fun on New Year's Eve. Agreed. Ooh, I've never done that. So the last party bus before this one I went on was New Year's Eve, and that I was probably 27 at that point. Yeah, I think if you can sprinkle in a New Year's Eve once in a while, I think that's fun. I what agree. about Father's Day or Easter? They you didn't... know, I can be convinced if it's branded correctly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big branding guy. Yeah. I, I genuinely thought the branding around Jesus' last ride was pretty funny. You just have, with the Jesus' thing, you could just have, like, canisters of water in there and then start drinking wine. Well, that you, what yeah. you, you do is you hire someone, once you're at one of the bars, to sneak onto the bus and just switch it all with oh, wine. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. That is <laughs> a phenomenal. See, I knew yeah. we'd find it. Yeah. I had the starter, not very good. Tyler banged it out of the park. Yep. Yep. Synergy. This is why people are coming for you on this podcast. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, it seems like the, the this Turn party bus thing wine. runs in the blood of the Zigglers. Yeah. yeah. Apparently. <laughs> so I love how it's like. So what is that? 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So you yep. get eight party buses there <laughs> and then <laughs> sprinkle in maybe five New Year's Eve <laughs> party buses so yeah. you got eight plus five 13 well, and then by the time yeah. you're like 40 there's not gonna be too many more weddings you're going to yeah and then let's just for the sake of the oh yeah weddings too so yep. i add another five mm -hmm. so you have 18 and then we'll say one a year from the age 21 to 25 so that's another four so 
in reality, you should only be going on 22 party buses in your entire life. Gosh. I am so Imagine far Imagine when you get to number pace. 20, you're like, fuck, we you're got low. Left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm only 25. I've been on maybe five party buses in my life. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm through the peak party bus. Phase. Yeah, I would say I'm behind as well, but I feel like Ryan goes on one every other week. <laughs> so... I feel like he's he's got it's a been the about rest of us four, three or four years since I've been on one. <laughs> well, Every other week, we're Ryan's on a party. <laughs> okay, so here's a question: How many people do you think you need to to get a party bus? Or you know, if you don't get X amount of people, you just kind of go off and maybe go to a bar instead. See that that's the thing too is the older you get, the less people you need because yeah. you got more money now. And you don't need to do ten bucks and a person you, to and pay you for the hate bus. More people, the older you Correct. are, Correct. Yes. So you want less people on that sucker. Yeah, I would say twenty is a good number to <laughs> get on a 10. party bus. I was say like twelve. Yeah, really? I, 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 I six couples is kind of a lot. Six couples. I mean, I, I'm okay with twenty, depending on the size of the bus. But yeah. like overcrowded. It's like twenty is twenty is probably max. You guys got to remember these buses are in twenty in today's economy in the party bus community. These buses are fucking huge now. <laughs> oh, that you say expensive? I don't. I, I guess I don't really know the price. I think we paid thirty five bucks a piece. That ain't bad. Uh, <laughs> what? So seven. we got to start having party buses every weekend. I didn't know it was that cheap. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's an Uber. Yeah, from <laughs> that's literally an Uber. So, <laughs> so seventy bucks between my wife and I, party bus. Hell yeah. Hey, that's not bad. That ain't bad at all. <laughs> I don't think that the party bus community has been affected by inflation. I think that those suckers are <laughs> holding their holding the line for us. I don't think enough people are are taking advantage of them for even the just like shorter trips. Like, hey, I, give me a ride to the bar on Friday night. Pick me up in the party bus. Yeah, honestly, you know, sorry. This I mean, they're, on a surcharge of an Uber, like if you're in a big city, I mean, it's probably more in a big city. It could be. 50 bucks well, for an uber ride home yeah. the one the one night that i walked home in nashville early um ubers were like 65 dollars. really yeah and it was like a what wednesday night this is christy something like that yeah you should have called the party bus dude yeah so the, the you bachelor, know bachelorette party buses yeah. you know how we got like a map, pedal bus you know how we got map bus around here we got like the uh city buses whatever mm -hmm. they got i mean friday saturday nights they should have party bus routes to where you go stand yeah. by like a stop sign or a bus pickup you get picked up by a party bus <sighs> dude, don't a, know anyone a in there. circular shuttle from like four bars just Guys. goes bar to bar to bar on non-stop yeah be sick i mean be safer isn't that just riding the city bus but but party bus booze on there. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Well, you, you could sneak your shooters on there and be fine. Yeah, but we're talking lights off, music yep. loud, booze is in there. It's stripper it's, pole, and it just yep. goes back and forth. That would be poles. fun. Yeah. That would be fun. They got check your ID at the at the bus stop. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then it's uh, pay a certain fee. I bet you could. I bet people would do that. Yeah. Think of the people you'd meet too, because mm -hmm. be, it wouldn't just be your 100%. group. Well, yeah. and, and then the the guards are down too when you're hammered like that. So then you chit chat with someone on the bus instead of just being like awkward, like head down on looking at your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Might be a great way, great way to meet uh, other single people too if you're like, you know, looking for a girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Or a creepy single guy would ruin it. Yeah, that's true. You call it bus roulette. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't even go to the bar. You just ride the buses around town and hop <laughs> off of ones. Yeah. Maybe uh, uh, before you get on, they give you a uh, glow-in-the-dark like bracelet. Green, yellow, or red. <laughs> Single, it's complicated, or in a relationship. Yeah. So people know the motives going on. What if right I want to wear all three? <laughs> uh, <that'd> be, <laughs> shit. Does that shit. cost I don't even triple? know what that would mean. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that you're just gonna want to wear yellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, though, you got a guy, one of those dudes that falls in love in a night, and he just goes from from green to yellow. He switches it to yellow while talking to this girl. Bracelet, yeah. And then by the end of the night, <laughs> yeah. he switches it to red. It's a mood bracelet. Yeah. And earmuffs, but I've been that guy before. Oh. I, think, I think we all have at some point, except for Ryan. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> since I can remember. I fall in love by the end of the night, and then you never see her again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you don't even like go home from the. You just you just fall in love with her at the bar, and then you part ways, and you never see him again. Yeah, maybe you fall. Sorry, Ann. 
Maybe you follow them on Instagram and then you just see them live their life for the next 10 years Isn't for that, no like, reason. The, even yeah. not even falling in love. You've met people at the bar one night in your entire mm-hmm. life, <laughs> drunkenly followed each other on Instagram, and then you just now know their kids' middle names. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yeah. It's like a personal like, celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it is really, that is very strange. <laughs> like I Right before this podcast, I was scrolling Instagram and there's this girl I met at WeFest and I talked to her for maybe two hours and just you just got her pregnant you that just, quick <laughs> <laughs> no you just talked uh, to her so but your no, wife now like genuinely she we we were not hooking up and that was not my intention she was in the sim, same friend group for two hours follow each other on instagram and i've never seen her since and i know that she just had a baby yeah that is wild actually yeah mm-hmm. you shouldn't know that much about a person right. you met one time right and, and it, then if, like, let's say you were to see her again and they'd be like, oh, my God, remember that one time at WeFest? You could be like, yeah, and I have been following everything you've been doing for the last X amount of years. <laughs> that, those so are the type of How fucking weird is that? So what happened with that one job that you left three years ago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what happened there? Just, you also, know. how's Sharon doing? Is she doing good? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, my great aunt? Yeah, she had cancer a few years back. <laughs> she pulled through? How do you remember this? <laughs> so weird. It's true, though. Very true. I think this is, I mean, if we combine a couple of our ideas here. So if you got kids, you send them to night care. Then you have a city party bus Mm -hmm. pickup location at night care. So you can park your car there. Mm -hmm. Right. Just leave it there. Then what you do is you get on the bus and you, so that's the night care idea. You have the city party bus idea, and then you have someone on there that gives you your mail. I was about to say that. I was just about to say that. And Literally. you can check your mail. You can get two for three for one on this deal. Yeah. You don't have to worry about going to your mailbox the next day. Bus if, mail. If you're yeah. ripping your mail open hammered, you have two <laughs> groups of people. Someone that's taking all the free offers you're getting in the mail. Yeah. Or someone that's throwing away everything, including the important shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People are like flexing their credit scores and shit from their monthly statements. They're getting yeah. Oh, shit. This thing yeah. says I'm eligible for $150,000. <laughs> what do you think? Better give me that that red bracelet soon because I'm going to be locked yeah. down. Yeah. And the mail's a great icebreaker, too. Like, oh, look what I I got yeah here's my here's my social security number look at this yeah hey uh i'll trade you a papa murphy's coupon for fucking chuck e cheese <laughs> great ice bro. oh yeah see how sweet my grandma is yeah you know birthday coming up she always sends me 20 bucks <laughs> oh, i'm, t- I'm using lady. it for a party oh, bus yeah. fucking fucking Mima sent me a birthday card again <laughs> Hey, by the way, you should follow me so you can keep updates on me for the next <laughs> decade, even though I won't see you. Yeah, no, yeah, just check this photo out of me and me, my IG. Uh, you peep the handle if you want to, but you, you can shoot me a follow if, <laughs> if, if, if you really want. You just really want to get you followed. Want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get a follower count up for me, ma. Hey, boots on the ground, hand to hand combat. That's right. Go ask for follows. That's right. That's how Ryan got to 5,000 followers for Tyler. Yep. That's true. He was like rode a- the city bus and begged hobos <laughs> to follow him on Instagram. He started cre- creating IGs for them. Yeah. <laughs> Burner full. Just give me your, give me your vote. Yeah. Your, I'll do it. God. What do you want your, what do you want your Gmail to be? <laughs> Homeless Hank. S- smelly, smelly Hank 47. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm going to be 48 next week, so we might as well just get ahead of the game here. <laughs> Homeless Hank 48. I'll change it to 49 <laughs> next year. <laughs> I wonder what Homeless Hank's up to. You follow him on Instagram? <laughs> yeah, he uh, he Great actually he did just get a job. Nice. So he's not, he's just Hank 48 now. <laughs> <laughs> home full. Yeah, he's yeah. Home full. Home full, mm-hmm. Hank 48. Yeah. Good, good guy. Got a job at Taco John's. Yeah. <laughs> and if you'd never have met him, if you weren't riding the city party bus, mm-hmm. and if you wouldn't have showed him your birthday card from Mima, great icebreaker. Yeah. I think bus mail is more important than air mail. Yeah, we'll see. Wolf, wolf workshop it, yeah. Jared. How does that sound? If you pay $5 more, you can get your air mail on a bus. So it would be like a $15 a month. It's a package deal. Sure. Wow. It's an add-on. That's that, how you make the real money. 
Okay. It's a classic when one door closes, another one opens. That mm-hmm. being the city party bus. Upcharge. Let's fucking go, baby. Yep. Also, why don't they have an airline that you can actually just like party on? Dubai Air. Yeah, it sucks because it seems like those ones are just private. You just got to buy PJ. Yeah. Yeah, but like... There is... You know what I mean? Like, you think that they would just like, hey, you're going to Nashville for a bachelor party. You're going to want to fly this. They have lounge areas. You're going to have to pay a little more. We have bartenders and stuff that you can drink the whole time. And then they just like have it completely blocked off from the front of the plane. So there's no disturbances up there. Be phenomenal. I thought I was getting that going to your bachelor party, but I got cut off after two drinks. <laughs> First yeah, class. we both did. I know. It was, it was ridiculous. And not us in the back. Right. Or it's because he sucked them all down back I home. God, I ordered I six to start. <laughs> I'm pissed about that. Yeah, you're sitting on a, a row by yourself. I'm like, I'll get around for them. They're in the bathroom right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Actually, it's smart. Yeah. They're still in there. I don't know where they are. I think they are trying to become a member of the Mile High Club. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. And I don't know. I don't approve of it. Yeah. You should get back there. <laughs> well, Ryan, I'm glad that you made it through. Yeah. So the next morning, glad- we had to leave at 8.30. I I got out of bed at eight thirty one. You were late, big time. Oh wow! I don't know if teacher guys ever late. I, I I couldn't fucking get out of bed. I was couldn't breathe. No, I, I, and then I put a breakfast uh, McDonald's breakfast sandwich like to my lips, and I almost threw up. <laughs> it, really? Like, it like damn near barely touched my lips, and because I almost. Threw I was up. gonna say when I get a McDonald's <laughs> surprise surprise when I get a McDonald's <laughs> sandwich that touches my lips, I'm instantly back yeah i was not back by any means you drank a lot then mm-hmm. well relatively speaking he's yeah pretty small relatively speaking yeah <laughs> he's like pint size you know why did you have to be that was so important 10 year class reunion for my wife <laughs> oh my god we yeah we won't even get into that let's wait to the party but oh I, my I, god hold on <laughs> I, I I knew he would like that one. Oh my god! You had to go to the ten year class reunion that hung over at eight thirty in the morning. Yeah, because she was helping. It's only it. an hour drive. I know, but she but but lunch was at like the pre lunch was at eleven, and she had to get down there to help set up because she's on like the planning committee. So I had to go with her. Um, yeah. Oof, damn. So I'm gonna put that on. A bingo card of some of the worst things ever to happen to anyone. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's why the getting home at at you know one. That's the free was. space on that bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> it was not ideal, and I drove on the way down. I did offer to drive, but I, I, I sandwich touched my lips. I said, Meg, I need you to save that McDonald's bag. <laughs> just keep it handy. D- dump everything we just paid for out of it and hold yeah. on to it for me. So if my face goes in that bag, you take the wheel. <laughs> that's good. That that's going on. Yeah. Your kid in the back? No, nope, he was in Wapton. Oh. No overnight babysitter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're good, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you're so. so well, uh, I'm glad you made it through. Good weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so other than that, it was fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it was fucking phenomenal. All right, Ryan. Well, so. should we take a break and keep her moving? Yep. Speaking of being in the doghouse, Tyler, you're in our doghouse right now because you aren't able to feed us because you don't have any turkeys. <laughs> that is <laughs> correct. You're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. It's like Mossberg is kind enough to send you a shotgun that you could go turkey hunting with, and you didn't even bring it with. I did bring it with. You didn't even sh- put a I know. shell in it. I, we talked about it. I should have just fired, and it would have found a turkey. That but I didn't. I was 10 yards away from a turkey the other day. You should have strangled it or shot it with your Mossberg. Sh- I didn't have tag. You were. No. You, you could have used just, mine. You should have just hit it with the butt end of it. <laughs> that yeah. is true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how'd you, how'd you get that one? Mossberg. Knock, <laughs> knocked it out. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, you shoot the shell up in the air and then crack the over under, and the shell shoots out, <laughs> hits it in the head, and that's how. <laughs> yeah, KOs it. Yeah, until it, yeah, yeah. Because then you could quite literally shoot it with a Mossberg, but not the end you thought it would be. Well, then you're not wasting any meat either. And people don't realize how multi-use this this is. Like, what is the, the a Mossberg? You can kill it with the front end. You can kill it with the back end. You can kill it with the middle when you break it open. You yeah. can you can use the uh, the butt end of it for taking a nap, like Tyler does in the mm-hmm. stand. That's why he doesn't ever see a turkey. Don't, don't turkey. Well, you got to you remember your gun too. That's step number one. Remembering the Mossberg. Yep. Yep. We'll we'll blind. get there. We'll yeah. we'll actually we'll bring you through a quick crash course okay. on how you can properly kill a turkey okay. with a Mossberg. Yeah. So first, yeah. what you're gonna want to do? No, actually, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, first, you got to go to Mossberg.com. Yeah, that is that's true. step one. Browse, and I mean, you're gonna want to browse big time, mm-hmm. and you're gonna want to find probably ten to twelve that you like. Then you're gonna whittle that down to eleven, and then buy those eleven. Because <laughs> you don't eleven's a sweet spot. You don't need twelve. And yeah. that sounds like a joke, but it's gonna be really hard for you to whittle it down to eleven. Exactly. Yeah. To go from twelve to eleven is hard because you're just you're only letting go of one of them. Mm-hmm. And then what you can do is you could do like the Patriot, and you could set them up on different trees throughout the yep. woods, mm-hmm. and then run around. Yep. It's a phenomenal idea, actually. Great idea. You see how well it worked out for Mel Gibson? Yeah. Yeah. Did that cool pony sale? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're going your hair out to dye it black? Mm-hmm. I think we go rat's tail out the back. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Agreed. We add on to the black, jet black hair. I, I think we already agreed. <laughs> rat's tail. Um, <laughs> but I've had a rat's tail in my day before. Oh, yeah. Unintentional rat's tail, but one nonetheless. How does one unintentionally get a rat still? <laughs> it just grows a bunch back there, and I just never cut my hair. Mm. See, my hair just grows like this, so. Oops. <laughs> Anyways, go to Mossberg.com if you want some you want a good rat tail. <laughs> Ryan! Go on. You know, you said earlier that you had that other person's breakfast sandwich that touched your lips and made you want to throw up? Yeah. You know what would have cured your hangover? Probably a holiday breakfast Probably sandwich. Probably a holiday mm-hmm. breakfast sandwich, buddy. What were you doing? I filled, well, I filled up gas the night before. Yeah. That was your first mistake. So I didn't. I didn't. I passed gas, but I already had gas. So yeah. you did our number one cardinal sin. You passed gas. The night before I didn't, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was right. there. So you did there. Yep. What were you going to say, Tyler? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so all I'm saying is, is that is holiday breakfast sandwiches, miracle breakfast sandwiches that cure your sickness. Are those the sandwiches that Jesus gave everybody? Yeah. Uh, you, also get you, you, you hear about the two are the five loaves and two fish that he fed 10,000 with or 5,000 with. That was actually the fish sandwich from holiday. Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> it's not a great business plan by holiday to have a sandwich that you can multiply once you buy one, mm-hmm. but it's maybe true. And there was hash browns at the last supper too. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's not an official statement by Holiday. This is our own discovery. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, do you know who the only person that didn't have a hash brown from Holiday at the Last Supper was? Jesus. Jesus. Judas. Judas? You, you, you thought Jesus? <laughs> I, I, I don't we know. We know much who of- wasn't paying attention in <laughs> CCD class. <laughs> no, yeah, well, it definitely wasn't. Judas. He betrayed Jesus. Ah. Yeah. The whole sure. thing. But he did. But he did get a little taste of a hash brown because he did smack a kiss on Jesus. Yeah. So he could taste it on his lips. Yep. He kissed him on the cheek. Oh, okay. <laughs> he had a, he had some crumbs. On yeah, it cheek. was like it was some grease going off the side <laughs> on his beard. Yeah. <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> Again, not an official holiday statement, <laughs> but more so our interpretation of the Bible. Yeah. The more you know. So the good book. Yeah. He said, <laughs> he said something like, and I'm paraphrasing, um, take this breakfast sandwich and hash brown and share it with everyone at the table. 
and do this in remembrance of me. Yeah. And they turned water into purple thunder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, if you would love a miracle breakfast sandwich as well, go to Holiday Gas Stations. Don't pass gas. Turn on in to Holiday Gas Stations. All right. So, Jared was talking about how they're are in life sometimes some hard pills to swallow. And it got me thinking, and during the break here, Ryan was talking about his party bus, all that stuff. And so I personally think, I think a hard pill to swallow is the moment when you realize you just can't drink like you used to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is tough. When, when do you think that hit for you? Um... You know, it's very cliche to say, but within the last year or so, it definitely has taken more of a toll on me. Yeah. Once you start getting to that 30-year-old range, I was, you know, maybe I was a late bloomer on that, but I definitely can't drink as well as I used to. And, well, hold on. (laughs) I definitely can't drink as frequent and for as a long a period of time sure as efficient you're just you're just out for you're down for the count way easier the next day Mm -hmm. unless there is a swim up bar involved well that was (laughs) i was down (laughs) yeah so the the day after that i actually had to go to a baptism but the problem is so i got i was drinking and was gone that day so I could not wake up the next day and do the woe is me. I'm hungover because she'd be like, really? (laughs) You knew we had this the next day and now you're a piece of shit. She wouldn't say that, but that's how it sounds in my head. (laughs) I regret everything. Yeah. So then I just the whole day I'm dying on the inside being like, this is so great. Uh, you know, congratulations. So beautiful. And then it's like, I'm just trying to keep the cake, the sheet cake down afterwards, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. All that stuff. Um, it's really good. Do you- but but I will have to say, I now know what Mr. Toby Keith was talking about, though, that says I ain't as good as I once was, mm-hmm. but I'm good once as I ever was. And mm. Tyler saw that on display this oh, last yeah. week. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's in full form for one day. <laughs> and then really? it just dwindled out. Yeah. I just I think I'm I think I'm there. And I tell you what, that is a tough pill to swallow. <laughs> yeah. It's not going down very yeah. easy. Imagine t- trying to take like, like you know. Yeah. You maybe do like water with it and then you kind of do like a little <laughs> gag with it. Yeah. That's a horse pill going down. I feel like ibuprofen is quite literally hard to swallow when you're shit faced these days too. <laughs> it's weird. I could I baseball in high school I used to down like six ibuprofens before a game easy. Now it's like fuck. Why would why did you need six? My arm was in shambles, dude. Oh, that's I why know. I didn't get into baseball. Yeah, it was not good. I it's was true. thinking about my future kids someday and being able to still <laughs> throw them the ball in the backyard. <laughs> That's Because I knew I wasn't going to make it to the league. Sure. So I'm playing for the next gen. You know. Yeah. I think I think humans need to. That's maybe another tough pill to swallow, is when you realize that you're just not very that good at sports. Sure. Ah, that's a good one. Right. Yeah, like the real- moment where you realize, like, oh shit. I'm going to have to just get a normal job. <laughs> I feel like we see that happen to people more at our skill levels because we are all the D3, D2 range. Well, don't put D2 whatever. in the same category as D3. Well, please. I'm saying because I was D2 in one sport and D3 in yeah, another. Me and you know. Yeah. Ryan doesn't uh, know D3? as much. You were. I, I, I did both D3 <laughs> and you were NAI. Oh. I don't know what D that is. It was D3. Two. Um, D4. Anyway, but we see a lot of those people because there'll be a stud. In D2 that thinks they don't give up on that dream until a year or two. And I actually think some of the best members of society are the ones that realize that very early on. Mm -hmm. The later you realize you're not going to be in the NFL, NBA, MLB, et cetera, et cetera. Like the later you learn that, the worse off you are as an adult, I feel like. That was way more adjusting. Where you realize that maybe when you're a freshman in high school, you're like, Hey, all right. It's just fun now. Right. 
I probably learned that like freshman year of college. I was a little late on it. And I was like, oh, shit. I learned that shit in high school. <laughs> learned that like in fourth grade. Did you, Jared? Yeah. God, that had to have felt good. Because I always yeah. wanted to play for the Vikings when I grew up. And I was like, I, <laughs> I'm like the, like the third kid picked at gym. So like, yeah. Like, so yeah, did you get there on your own? Because I feel yeah. like sometimes like parents will be like, hey, why don't we try uh, theater this year? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jared, you couldn't even tie your own shoes in fourth grade. I know. Yeah, that was a. I mean, that's tell, the tell Ted me. giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coach, I need you to come get my shoes tied for me. <laughs> can't go pro. Time out, time out. My shoes untied. <laughs> Velcro, Velcro doesn't Mr. work. Mr. Referee. Yeah, Jared's shoe comes untied on the field, and they got to send the medical staff out to tie it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he fakes an ankle yeah, injury. He's yeah. like, hey, he's fuck. Just, a cramp. Hey, yeah. can you just, just just tie my shoe real quick? I, I, I'm actually fine. He's like, you want to stretch me up? Also, while you're down there, you want to tie my shoe? <laughs> yeah. I got these gloves on. I can't. Yeah. Well, yeah, I have finger got smashed during this injury yeah <laughs> i only put gloves on just to get out and tie my shoes yeah. <laughs> yeah jared's playing fullback but he's got the giant lineman padded gloves to protect your hands yeah <laughs> he didn't even break his wrist but he's got a club on there yep. <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's really tough. Uh, but yeah, I think that that's a tough pill to swallow for for when you realize it. Back, Again, earlier on in life is always better for that. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, see, I mean, like objectively, like none of us were ever going to be. We had a lot of things going against us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, back to your drinking point, though. I think there is light at the tunnel. Ooh, really? Because the 60, 70 year olds in my family could out could have out drank me at 22 every day of the week. But just once no. or a whole weekend? Back to back days. So you, your conspiracy is that there is a gap where mm -hmm. in life where you're not as good as you once were, but then you go the other one, you're I'm better than I was ever. Yes, especially in the drinking world. I will have to say it does seem like, and maybe it's just old people have learned to just deal with being hung over better than younger people. I don't mm -hmm. know. Or they're just, maybe their liver is just completely shot and they're <laughs> like, I can't even feel anything anymore. I remember the first yeah, time that I, I ever like full on drank with my dad's dad and i got him up peepaw peepaw yep no. <laughs> <laughs> with my grandpa and then we were we were fishing right first day we both put on a clinic and i'm like he's gonna be down for the Not count the break. next day and i wake up at whatever whatever time and he's been up for hours just already four beers deep yeah. just keep going he just kept going all day long and it felt like he didn't, he never got too drunk. He definitely got drunk, but he was never too drunk, but he just slugged beers for the entire day and then did it again the next day. He probably, I mean, you probably reach a certain age. You're like, I don't care if I die. It's yeah. all been shit lately anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just drink. I don't know. I would agree though. It does seem like even my dad, I'm like, how are you? Right. But I think it's because his body is just miserable all the time that he doesn't even notice when he's hung over yeah. because he's got so many ailments from work in construction his whole life that and he never drinks water so he's always dehydrated yeah <laughs> you know like if you're hydrated and you drink alcohol you get dehydrated and you feel it but if you're never hydrated probably don't even feel it so is he per just perpetually hung over <laughs> maybe yeah maybe it just always feels like <laughs> just that feeling yeah okay huh mm. something to think about yeah you got a tough pill to swallow tyler yeah this is a hit home for me and jared but a tough pill to swallow for me is my loyalty to the Vikings may never pay off. Ooh. Really? Jared clearly has not even tried to swallow that pill. And I said may. <laughs> it may never pay off. I didn't say is never going to pay off. <sighs> like, I mean, there's a chance, Jared, that before we, like, we never see him win a Super Bowl before we die. There is a chance of that. Chance. I don't think it will happen. <laughs> oh, he hasn't swallowed it's up tough. Yet. It's yeah, tough to swallow. Jared. How many more heartbreak seasons do you think Jared needs until he has to swallow that pill? I think tw a good 20 seasons, I think. And how many are you deep now? 29. So <laughs> 20 more? 20 more, yeah. Yeah. I think after that point, it's like, okay. So half 50, of my, half about of my 50 is years is the breaking point. Uh, you know, when I, when I swallowed that <laughs> That's a pill, long time. That's so long. I, I've been a fan for the same length as Jared, almost 29 years. And I swallowed that pill last year at halftime of the Packers game at Lambeau field. Oh, yeah. uh, he had to swallow that yeah. pill live and in person. And I was sitting there and like, we 
might never win it. At the worst place possible for uh, Vikings. Yes. Fan. And I think yeah, there's I a lot did. of factors that <laughs> maybe force the pill. But also, do you guys even want to win a Super Bowl? Yes. It always goes to everyone's yes. head. Like, if you see, well, Packer fans, they won one so long ago, and they still are <laughs> that was so long unbearable. Ago. Well, you got to root against the Vikings because the second we win one, well, Jared and I are never going to shut the fuck up about yeah, it. I'll probably take that week off just, just to heads up. How would that be any different than any other week? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jared wasn't here this week. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Still works here. Um, Super Bowl is playing. Tyler's really annoying about something. How is that different than any other? <laughs> just unfazed. <laughs> <laughs> it's another day at the office. Right, Ryan? That's right. You're a Vikings fan. Why are you so quiet about it? I don't. I'm not a, as emotionally tied as these guys are. Like if they lose on a Sunday, I'll be bummed for maybe 30 minutes, and then I'm and then I'm just over it. He had a <clears throat> tough pill for Ryan to swallow was that his Jimmys may never win a D3 championship. <laughs> no, they, it, the Jimmys may never win f- 53 games in a season like we did. Oh god, that'd be a pill you want to swallow because then then you stay on top. 53 games to and better. they played 150 games. No, we played. <laughs> We played 64, 53 and 11. We played 64 games. Double headers every day. Yeah. <laughs> that is a so. tough pill to swallow. Sports teams' pills mm-hmm. are tough to swallow. They're large. I would have to say. Yeah. Also, I imagine it's a, I've never obviously been in this scenario, but I imagine it's a tough pill to swallow when you're the fan that painted their face and then you lose <laughs> yeah. to have to walk home. <laughs> It's like quite literally, you're a clown. You gotta drive yeah. the car out of the stadium. Yeah. I truly believe yeah. that the fans that paint their face are fake fans. Oh, really? Because if you are planted, a, if you are a true, true fan, you don't need to do any of that shit to care about your team. You're just trying to get people to look at you. You're not there to look at the game. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I actually That's would true. like to know the like archetype of someone who paints their face for sporting <laughs> events. Yeah. I can't. Because I actually don't like, there's not like one person that sticks out in my mind that's a face painter. Like someone over the age of 15. Yeah, and I'm not talking like eye black and that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm talking like the bald dude who paints his entire head to look like a helmet. Right. Yeah, like (laughs) Like, I'm thinking specifically of one guy that goes to all the Vikings games. Half his face is purple, half his face is yellow. And it's like, you're, he's there so people look at him. He doesn't give a shit how the game goes. Oh, that's a great take, actually. Yeah. (laughs) He likes the attention. He doesn't care about the team. You know why, though? He's probably over 50 years old, and he swallowed the tough pill that his team's never going to win. Mm. So he's just like, I'm just going to go and make it about me because they ain't going to win. Yeah. I got to win somehow. It's cloud chasing. Yeah. yeah. Could be could be it. What's your tough pill to swallow, Ryan? Um, My tough pill to swallow is Advil. Advil's a tough one. When you hit 30, that's Liquid true. gels. So. You got to yeah, switch those back. Suck. Uh, synthetic t- testosterone pills. Those are fucking really tough. <laughs> you got to switch back to liquid Motrin like as a kid. I know. Get in the syringe. I will have to say baby. that they made NyQuil and DayQuil pills absurdly large. They're very large. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they make you do two of them. Yeah, let's just concentrate that stuff a little bit more. Where's the smaller. extract? Can we do a Dayquil <laughs> extract that's in a smaller pill? Well, yeah, and, it's, yeah. and it's the gel pill, so you can't even break it in half. Yeah, oh, it's like, do you yeah. do you swallow both of them at one time, or you like go two? I don't and then know. you can kind of like time. feel it sit yep. right here in the middle of your chest. Yeah. And then I always get paranoid with the gel pills that if I keep it in my mouth too long, it'll the thing will start disintegrating, <laughs> explode in my mouth, even though yeah. it won't happen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you have that fear at all? No. When you're swallowing I, pills? I have had a fish oil pill explode in my mouth before, though. That was Ew. disgusting. Dude, that's maybe the worst. Yeah. Um, I had a fish fish oil pill, and I had fruit snacks at the same time put them in my mouth, and I bit down on the fish oil pill. I don't know why I did that. Wait, that that's I a strange need combo. need to know the yeah. left turns you took to get there. I don't really know either. Um, Were you on a party bus? Was not on a party <laughs> bus. I can't remember how it played out. For some odd reason, I had a fruit snack and a fish oil pill in my mouth at the same time. <laughs> and I proceeded to chew both of them. So Oof. Oof. that's a true story. That that's happening. a tough pill to chew. I, I, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not ideal. I purposely chewed an ibuprofen once just to see what that was all about. And it that's was gross. Psychotic. <laughs> I mean, but like it's absolutely insane. It's not a Flintstones vitamin. I just wanted to. God, those were good. They were good. Yeah. yeah. Jake's got a bottle on his desk. Those are really good. Are they still the chalky? Yep. Chew him up. Yeah, I bought him for him because he acts like a fucking child all the time. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Jake. Go, dude. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, you're apologizing. Jake's having him. a tough day. Yeah. He's having a tough go today. 
So you know what, Jake? I know that this day is a tough pill to swallow, but you can always be a grown up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> On a real note, I would say a tough pill to swallow for me <laughs> is I I may only have one bachelor party left to go to in my life. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I may only have one bachelor party. <laughs> that's you're just gonna end it there. Yeah, no, that that that's also true. Uh, but I I may only have one, and that that being my brothers, I may only have one bachelor party for the rest of my life to go to. Yeah, it's the same thing. Once you start counting, like you only got twenty two party buses in I your know. life. You only got a finite amount of bachelor parties to go to. Yeah, and then you well, and then it's like so you got a you got a son. It's like <sighs> one. Because bachelor parties have been tamed down quite a bit since sure. yep. the last 20 years. Since the hangover came out. Are they even going to do anything for bachelor parties right. in 25 years? Well, they're probably all just going to throw on VR head goggles and like yeah. head over to Turks meet, and Caicos or something. Meta. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Want to go on the virtual yacht? <laughs> yeah, head over to Bora Bora and get on one of the uh, bungalows. Ryan's <laughs> pretending to jump into the water <laughs> off his couch <laughs> at his house. <laughs> but, but you also got to consider it's like, well... Some people have their dads at the bachelor party. Some people don't. What mm-hmm. if your kid doesn't want this? He, quite literally. I know. Yeah. I, I don't plan on going to my kid's bachelor party. I just, I, yeah, I don't think. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do if he invites you, though? You got to go if he invites If you. he invites me, I'll go. Yeah. But I'm going to say, hey, don't feel obligated to invite me. <laughs> I'll go, but I'll be shitty about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to have fun while I'm there. No, I no won't. Sex talk. No, he'll probably yeah. bring me there so I pay for everything, honestly. Smart. Yeah. Save money for the wedding. He's already started saving money for the wedding. No, he'll save money oh, for the wedding. I'll say, pay Jesus. for the bachelor party. <laughs> nah, he's gonna. Hopefully, he has brothers who can do that. Well, for him. statistically speaking, how what is it? Fifty percent of married couples get divorced. People in your friend group are gonna get divorced Let's and go, remarried. Dude. Yeah. So then, well, there's that's four of us in true, here. Actually, so there's do, four of us in here. Half of us are getting divorced. You potentially have two more bachelor parties in this room. That's true. (laughs) Let's go. Jared's like, I invite him to my bachelor party. (laughs) (laughs) So uh, no, that's why I said only my brother. That's I, 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 Jared, don't feel. Yeah, it's the only guaranteed (laughs) one you got. Yeah, correct. If you want to come, you come. So do (laughs) if you get married twice, do you have a second bachelor party? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's. I mean, it's just an excuse to get all your boys. My dad got married twice, and he had two. So I should have known that. (laughs) Yeah. Actually, I don't know if my I don't know anything about if my dad had a bachelor party or not. He probably did. <laughs> Hope I had a DD for my dad's second one. Did you? Yeah. I was gonna say, d- d- does a dad getting married for the second time invite his I was son? The, I was the best man. Oh, okay, so I had to go. So you had to plan it. The better man. I what didn't. about your sisters? I didn't plan shit. They were not invited. Even mm. no, they were there. No, the wedding. <laughs> uh, flower girls. Okay. I was like 15. Mm. So. Yup. Did you give a speech? <laughs> I did. Did you? Yeah. Don't remember a lick of it. You're Shit hammered. Based. Yeah, I was fucked up. <laughs> I figured. Mike's hard. Imagine the beers you could drink at 15. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know. We I, don't I really didn't that. drink any at 15. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hey. Better. Imagine the beards you're going to be able to drink at like 67. I know. Yeah. Can't wait to. What's the I threshold know. then? I think 60. Once you hit 65, you're back and you're you're in your perfect drink. Yeah, you're shape. like Jimmy Buffett. I'm on retirement. I'm mm-hmm. doing frozen concoction, beers, icebergs all yeah. day long. Mm-hmm. Social Security, Medicare. Not a care in the world. Yep. Except Meta. <laughs> Medicare, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> And by then, literally, it will be that Facebook, the Meta company, yeah. will be just will have its own healthcare. That's right. By That's then. right. Yeah. Jared, you got a tough pill to swallow. Uh, back pain. So when I turned uh, twenty nine, like when I woke up when I on my birthday, I had back pain for the first time. Like on my. Lord Do you want to know why you have back pain? Probably my bed. Probably your twin bed that you sleep on every night. <laughs> Do you have it? Actually, have a twin bed. Yeah, then he sleeps on with his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I we, we talked about this, didn't we? I still haven't upgraded. You bought a new car before you bought a new bed. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Jared got a new car. But, everybody. No, but that's the thing. You spend my more bro- time in a car and then you're in your bed. So 
Well, no, no, you that's don't. Not true. Uh, no, no. <laughs> but here's the thing: is my brother said it best. You want to spend money on stuff that goes between you and the ground. Car goes between you and the ground. Good to spend money. Bed. You want to buy good shoes, good support for your body. Yeah. Um. Good socks. <laughs> that well, goes good between you and your shoes. Yeah. Well, then I guess you just want to buy a good bed frame in that. Yeah. Yep. Thought? Okay. Yep. Well, Mattress is fine. And just good tires then on your car. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> Did you know if you buy another twin bed, push them together, you could damn near have a king bed? Yeah. I haven't thought that far. Do you know what's good for back pain though? I'm not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not uh, stretching. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, it's God. probably an ha- a hamstring issue. Yeah. yeah. Probably likely. got tight hammies, glutes, or, well, the put my exercise scientist hat on it's actually maybe your hip flexors yeah wait have you been running still no i i probably so my new year's resolution is to lose 20 pounds but i think i gained five pounds since my New year's resolution so i think the gaining weight thing is not going well now you technically only have to lose 15 pounds and you still lose 20 it's actually (laughs) kind of smart there you go January 1 hits weigh yourself, gain 20 pounds in one month, <laughs> and then you have 11 months to just get back to zero, and you still lost 20 pounds. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Not also, bad, like, yeah. you could have been fluctuating. Like, you could have lost a pound, like, a week ago. That counts. And then gain three, but then lose another pound. <laughs> yeah. Gain three more. Yeah, just, just add up all the pounds you lose. Yeah. Gotcha. Even if you gain, yeah. Just mm-hmm. don't count the gains. Yeah, gain 40 right, and lose 20. Your goal says <laughs> nothing about gaining weight. <laughs> How do we get to on this? The weight. It's a tough pill to swallow mm, being sure. fat. Mm-hmm. Back pain. Yeah. Love literally, literally have a back that's blown out. Yeah. That's what's, that's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so I think number one, let's start with a new bed, Jared. Yeah, that's real number one. <laughs> Two, let's stretch out those hip flexors a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, step three. <laughs> Again, back to the pills. Try some ibuprofen. Yeah. Or uh, maybe a cortisone shot. New Genix, is that do some new Genix, baby? Yeah. That's testosterone. I, or what, what's the one? Uh, Frank Thomas. New Genix. Oh, it is. Okay. Yep. I thought that was Total T. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> testy. Testy booster. I mean, that would help. I don't think it would hurt. Yeah. No, no it definitely wouldn't. I forgot that Tyler's got low T. Are you no, back? May, I'm back. I mean, it may You're hurt. Back. Yeah, do you I'll, still have low T from your kid? Didn't no. How old no, is he's he? back. He's too. like four months old now. Eleven months. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Ryan was back two months ago. Uh last month. Ten months. Usually. Time out. Okay. He's eleven months old. Yeah, he'd be a year next month. <sighs> I haven't gotten my invite to his party. <laughs> I haven't sent him out yet. <laughs> <laughs> Like Can you, you imagine? Hey, so do we, if he gets does everyone just bring baby formula then? Well, he doesn't drink formula. No. He, br- he drinks breast milk. It's a diaper I don't keg. Know anything about a kid? <laughs> um, and at, at is a, he in diapers still? Yeah. So we can just bring diapers. Yeah, you could just bring diapers. Yeah, I'll have and figure it out. <laughs> First birthday, yeah. you usually get him like books and shit. Yeah. What? Do you, yeah, I'll have to look into that. Yeah. Can you read? So I got to write a book between now and <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's, he's going to have another swim up pool bar day the day before. He's like, fuck. <laughs> first baptism. Now I got to first I'll have birthday. Chad GPT write him a book. <laughs> yeah. Illustration um, and everything. No, I actually got a uh, uh, Midwest survival guide by Charlie Barron sitting up next to there my toilet go. at home. <laughs> I'll just, just cross out my name on the inside and put his. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea. Regifting. Yeah. That's a good Please idea. do that and then talk to Charlie about it on Belly Dub. <laughs> yeah, get a video of me doing it and send it to him. <laughs> get, you know, I read it cover to cover so many times that it's time for someone else. Yeah. I'm sure someone else it. who can't yeah. read yet. <laughs> the brother for the Ryan. survival guide. And, I mean, honestly, it's a great gift to give him as one year birthday to because that thing is so thick to get through it. He's gonna need until he's 18 to yeah. read the whole thing. <laughs> well, now is the age where they probably read the most books, too. Like you're you're reading the most books. He can to them. read already? He's no, he can't read months. No, he can't read already. But he gets a he gets one or two books read to him damn near every day. When does a kid start reading? Like probably. you start learning. You learn your letters in kindergarten, start putting words together in first grade. And so you how be, old is that? I don't know. Not right. eight or nine. Yeah. I probably learned when I was four. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I actually unlearned it. So I, I learned it before I went to school. <laughs> and then I unlearned it because I didn't want to make the other kids feel bad. 
So that's probably what happened. And then I didn't want anyone to think I was super smart. So that's why I unlearned my ability to spell as well, <laughs> as you guys can see. Yeah. One, one spelling bee championship was enough for me. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, Who won this year? Tyler. Me. Fuck. <laughs> it was a terrible showing by both of us. Uh, I mean... It took one word to win. <laughs> <laughs> Two years in a row, it took yeah. one word. I mean, I misspelled misspell. Yeah, that's a bad one. How do you spell misspell? M I S P. Am I? Am I <laughs> is there two S's? Yeah. God, misspell. That's like when the when the teacher lets everyone like redo the test, and he still got the same answer <laughs> wrong. God, yeah, I always thought that in like school it was like i bomb a test and everyone did and they're like all right we're gonna have everyone retake and get a second chance i'm like i'm not gonna study i'm gonna do the exact same we shitty about it yeah on all the questions that i know i got wrong i'm just gonna pick a different answer yeah and just hope for the best circle c no you should just go hey can you just whittle down the multiple choice to two <laughs> And then I'll just choose the other one I didn't pick. <laughs> Those are the best. Four. When you get a test of like cho like choose two essays out of the five to finish for the test. Those are the best. Dude, essays were the worst, especially being left-handed and pre-using computers mm. all the time. My whole hand would be just <laughs> chalk with lead. Yeah, I can't imagine that was very good. Yeah, smudge city is yeah. what it was. Why didn't why couldn't we use pens? I don't understand. It's not like we were writing. The Declaration of Independence. And even they did that in pen. Yeah. So what the fuck? One of the most important documents in history yeah. is written with pen. I can't write this essay with a pen. Speaking I can't of use my gel marker to write about if Susie had four yeah. apples and <laughs> two got taken away. You should have just told chicks uh, that yeah, you had been hammer, hammer fist in the school bully earlier so your hand was bruised just with the side of his hand yeah, fucking hammer, hammer fist oh. yeah. speaking of the declaration i'm going to see it this next week you're going to dc mm -hmm. is it in dc yeah the national archives because they signed it in philly right it's in dc yeah uh, national archives i would I, if you ever watched national treasure once you'd know that i'm gonna see if nick Cave well is they also around. go to philadelphia though in that movie yeah. so it's but they music. they steal the declaration <laughs> from dc but yeah. they we bring even, it actually to philadelphia yeah. that's so the declaration put, did return so do we even know mm -hmm. where it is right now is it in dc or it philly is nicholas cage it is, okay it. Yeah. yeah it's actually behind mount rushmore <laughs> 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 they came out with a National Treasure TV show on Disney Plus. Tossed it on for the kids. It is so fucking bad. Really? It, none of the main, none of the people are in it. It's mm. just like a new cast of really, really bad actors. I would like to know what's on page 54 or whatever of that book that they were teasing. I don't know if they ever did. No. Nope. Do the follow up, did they? They wrote a script for it and then never put it out. You know what? I like that. <laughs> don't ruin a good thing. <laughs> There's also only so many tr clues you can do in a <laughs> movie series like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, from this really obscure knowledge I learned 20 years ago, if you put lemon juice on the back of this old parchment and then use a hair dryer, it'll trust me, something's going to show up. The fuck? Was he watching that on the History Channel? Or it was, <laughs> I was just casually reading about uh, fake ink on <laughs> back of old documents. <laughs> Who knows that? Yeah, sure. Just held a flush. His wide range of knowledge is unreal in that movie. Yeah, his, his name is Benjamin Franklin Gates. I, really? Is yeah. it actually? Yeah, middle name Franklin. Yeah. So that's his kid. No, he's Ben Frank's kid. No, so he's and Frank's kid. Frank it would have been cool if Benjamin Gates would eventually been Benjamin Franklin Gates would have been the president. Does it have been like father son duo? Yeah, yeah. they could have called them BFG. Yeah, yeah. kind of like John Adams and John Quincy Adams. <laughs> yeah, yep. Or George H. George W. And yeah, Benjamin Franklin and Benjamin Franklin <laughs> Gates. Hey, that's a sequel. Best president ever, <laughs> Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. 
We had a craft store back in my hometown <laughs> called Ben Franklin. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot mean? of people. Did. Yeah. Oh, really? Is that a chain? Yeah, thing? that's where I bought my Pinewood <laughs> oh. Derby car that oh, I really? didn't actually make. I just shaved it into a wedge, like a door wedge. So that's what Benjamin Franklin Gates did with all of his treasure <laughs> money was he started a chain of a craft store. Yep. No, we, we we used to be able to buy fish there. We would buy our betta fish there when I was younger. I still have no idea what this store is now that you explain that. It's like a half hybrid thrift yeah. store, craft store. store. It's a, it's, yeah, kind it's, of. It's a hobby store is what it's called. Pretty mm. much, yeah. Collecting yeah. fish. And, and Jared, your hobby is your fish. That's true. Jesus Christ, he brings that thing up on every podcast. <laughs> I have to stop and walk with him and go look at it. Yeah, it's closed down. Maybe now, get but, them a, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. They they got yeah. shut down a while ago. I think treasure up. hunting's not a great business. No, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think people get their yarn off Amazon these days. Wait, what if the tre- the treasure is buried underneath every Benjamin Franklin? There you go. No, there's a clue under everyone. Yeah. <laughs> underneath it. Just quite literally. Yeah, yeah. You just have to start digging underneath <laughs> the foundation. <laughs> Something. Yeah, I'm sure the building's still for sale. You check. Yeah, somebody just it, the one I went to is in Detroit Lakes, it's just in the Washington Square Mall. Someone's got a jackhammer. Washington. Well, Washington. Oh shit! It's all connected. And Franklin. Ben Franklin. Ben Washington. It's all George ben, Franklin. It's all ben Washington. Washington. George, George Washington. Franklin. <laughs> it's all the Freemasons. Yeah. Also, what a weird first name. Free. Free. <laughs> Freemason. <laughs> Is that short for something? <laughs> Freeman? Freeman Mason started the Freemason. <laughs> and Benjamin Franklin Gates started all the Benjamin Franklin hobby stores. It's all connected. Illuminati. Yep. Triangles, pyramids. Bridges. I'm surprised they never did a bit with the pyramids. That might have been in the next one. Yeah. Because I went to Europe and one of them. Yeah. That's where Riley threw, flew his drone around. Resolute <laughs> desk, I think. I don't know why I remember that, but because there's there's only two: one in the Oval Office and one in Queen Victoria's office. Also, <laughs> what kind of desk? The security <laughs> in those movies? <laughs> it's like dog shit. Yeah, it doesn't make me feel very good about our national security <laughs> if Mr. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin Gates can just get in any room he wants to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By just dressing in a tux. He goes yeah. to a party and abducts the president. Yeah. He just puts a tux on and instantly he's <laughs> incognito. Yeah. He can do anything he wants. Yeah. They could probably get by with like a couple blink cameras or something. Is, That'd probably be easy enough. Yeah. Is Benjamin Franklin Gates our James Bond? Yeah. He might or, literally uh, be our James Bond. Yeah. Also, why have they never done an American James Bond? Uh, Mission Impossible. I suppose. Yeah, Ocean's Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> That's the American version. It's just illegal. Yeah. yeah. Mob ties. Yeah. The whole thing. All right. Well, guys, I think we uh, hammered it out. Good work. Yeah. I think we swallowed all the pills. It was hard, though. It was hard, <laughs> but we did it. And uh, so, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of You Bet Your Radio. Go follow us on Patreon. Mm. Ryan's gone this week, so it's going to be a fun one. Uh-huh. Back-to-back weeks. Yep. Yeah. That's Hiatus. A, nice little break for you guys. Gonzo. Easy day for Ryan. <laughs> I'll come back with some good shit, though. Oh, you're going to D.C. Yeah. I, I don't want to say that I expect a souvenir, <laughs> but... I'll get you a copy of the declaration at the gift shop. <laughs> it's a real thing. But I want it to come in the leather. We talked about this. I think it's podcast. <laughs> yeah. Where do you get the specific leather canister? <laughs> yeah. Just the right size of the declaration. <laughs> right. What the right. fuck? <laughs> Where do you buy that? At a Benjamin Franklin hobby store? Yep. Yeah. Can't yeah. Store all your maps? Yeah. Can't get them anymore. Probably. <laughs> can't do it anymore. We can't talk about national treasure even once longer. Are we the number one national treasure podcast? Yeah. Great movie. Conspiracy pod. Yeah. We're not only an educational and experimental, we are now a conspiracy podcast. <laughs> First, yeah. Find a podcast that can do both. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in and may your uh, fucking <laughs> hobby stores be Franklin and your pills be easy to swallow. Cheers, Ryan. Oh, you betcha. Yeah. Yeah.